Okay, right here is a fleet of Caterpillar 777D off-road mining trucks. The 777D was introduced by Caterpillar in 1996 as a replacement for the older 777C model, boosting numerous improvements that would make it considered to be one of the best in class in the 777 series and also boosted a 5-ton increase in payload capacity over its predecessor, which made the 777D a true 100-ton class mining truck. Now, let's go and take a closer look at these big cats. Power for the 777D comes from a Caterpillar 3508B EUI, four-stroke direct injection, twin turbocharged and after-cooled, 34 and a half liter V8 diesel engine, which you can see looking right under the hood here. This engine develops 938 horsepower at 1750 RPM and 3,476 foot-pounds of torque at 1300 RPM for this truck. The engine features a 23% torque rise for high lugging force during acceleration and less downshifting on grades, and also features a separate after-cooling circuit to operate cooler than jacket water temperature for denser air change and improved combustion. Here you can get a good view of one of the suspension struts. The 777D features independent variable rebound nitrogen over oil suspension struts in the front and rear. In addition, the 777D features a box section frame incorporating 22 castings in high stress areas. All right, now let's go up on this truck. From here you can get a good overview of the interior of the operator's cab. The air suspension seat that you see is fully adjustable and features adjustable armrests. Let's go and hop in. Okay, when compared to the older 777C, the 777D featured a completely redesigned operator's cab with redesigned ergonomically positioned controls that improved operator comfort and efficiency by 55%. Here you can see all of the gauges which monitor this entire machine when it's in operation. From left to right, the gauges are as follows. Coolant temperature, brake oil temperature, brake air pressure, and the fuel level. Here you can see the tachometer, and the digital speedometer. On the right side, here you can see other switches to control other various functions on this machine, such as the headlights. You can see the ignition key, the climate control switch, and the fan speed switch. Over here, you can see all of the warning lights. The 777D features an electronic monitoring system, which monitors this entire truck when it's in operation, and will alert the operator in case of a malfunction through the message center screen, which displays vital information to the operator and advises of abnormal machine conditions. The 777D was also available with Caterpillar's optional truck production management system, which utilized strut pressure sensors and onboard microprocessors to determine the payload weight 
for improved efficiency by minimizing over and under loading. The steering wheel on this truck is both tilt and telescopic, and the hand lever you see down here on the right side controls the retarder. This truck was also offered with an automatic retarder control system, which controlled the retarder while maintaining safe engine speed. The retarding system on this truck has an intermittent rating of 2,500 horsepower and a continuous rating of 1,200 horsepower. And this hand lever that you see over here on the left side controls the wipers and the turn signals. On the floor you can see three foot pedals. The pedal to the far right controls the throttle. The inner right pedal is the brake and this pedal you see over here on the left side controls the secondary or emergency brakes on the truck. To the left of the operator's seat is the body hoist control switch which you can see down here, which is fully electronic, fingertip actuated, and features four positions to provide ease of operation and low impact body down rubbing. On the right side is the transmission control console. This truck has seven forward gears and one reverse. Push forward for reverse. Reverse on this truck is torque converter drive and pull back into gears 1st through 7th. First gear on this truck is both torque converter and direct drive, while gears 2nd through 7th are all direct drive. In 7th gear, this truck has a top cruising speed of 40 miles per hour. And here you can see the parking brake switch. And ahead of the transmission console, you can see a cup holder. To the right of the operator's seat, here you can see the built-in trainer's seat, which lifts up to provide access for a built-in storage compartment. And the noise level inside this cab is rated at 78 decibels. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were driving a 777D. Here you can see the two air intake and air cleaning units for the engine. Okay, this hood right here will lift up to provide access to the engine. Let's take a look inside. And from here you can get another good view looking down at the 3508B diesel engine. Underneath this compartment, here you can see where the batteries are stored on the truck. To the right of the air cleaners is the steering hydraulic tank, which you can see right here, which holds 15 gallons of oil. And from here you can get a good overview of the top deck on this truck.
Mounted on the left side of this truck is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here, which is one tank that is split in two. The left side of this tank holds 66 gallons of oil for the brake, torque converter, and body hoist system, while the right side of this tank holds 25 gallons of oil for the transmission. Mounted on the right side of this truck is the diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here, which holds 300 gallons of fuel. From underneath here, you can get a good view of the steering cylinders and the tie rods, which will turn the front tires left or right. And you can get a good view looking up at the powertrain. The engine on this truck drives a lockup torque converter, which combines max rim pull and cushion shifting of torque converter drive with the efficiency and performance of direct drive. The lockup clutch quickly releases and re-engages to maintain power windup for smooth shifting and maximum powertrain efficiency. And you can also see the two main hydraulic pumps, one for the brake, torque converter, and scavenge, and the other develops 119 GPM to power the body hoist system. From back here, you can get a view of the two rear struts, which allow axle oscillation while absorbing bending and twisting forces. This truck features forced oil-cooled multiple disc brakes and was also offered with a traction control system, which monitored wheel slippage for improved performance in poor underfoot conditions. And if you look through here, you can get a good view of the Caterpillar planetary power shift transmission mounted to the differential, which utilizes a modulating valve to regulate clutch pressure to ease clutch engagement for reduced shock loads on the powertrain. In addition, the transmission also features a neutral coast inhibitor, which prevents the transmission from shifting to neutral at speeds over four miles per hour and also a body upshift inhibitor, which prevents the transmission from upshifting above a pre-programmed gear without the body being fully lowered. And to help give you an idea of the size of a 777D, this truck measures 16 feet 10 inches tall from the ground to the top of the canopy over the operator's cab, 20 feet wide, and has a 15 foot wheelbase. And the rated payload capacity for the 777D at 2 to 1 heaped is 78.6 cubic yards, or 100 tons. And the overall empty operating weight of a 777D is 71.3 tons. In 2006, this truck was upgraded to the new 777F series. But there they are, a fleet of Caterpillar 777D off-road mining trucks.